So working with notifications is one thing and setting up which apps have access to which notification and how it comes up. Um, but it's about making sure that we teach students how to manage their time and therefore manage their interruptions. It's no different to somebody passing them a bit of paper in the room, except that there's more people that can potentially disturb and more apps that can potentially disturb that student. Um, so what we have here is a thing called Do Not Disturb. Um, and Do Not Disturb can be set manually. So in other words, I can just turn it on and off. Um, or I can set it as a scheduled event or time. Now, if you have a look on mine, um, as I was teaching students the other day, we have um, a certain time range that we can set during a day when we don't want any sort of notifications to come up on the screen. So if I have a scheduled one, which I've got here, which is now, I can actually affect that from um, a certain time. So say school starts at 8 o'clock or 8.30 um, in the morning. So in other words, let's say um, I'm expecting students to be moving up to class between 8.25 and I want to make sure that it, you know, our school day finishes at 3.10 in the afternoon. They're going to be the hours in which I don't want any sort of games or notifications or messages that to be arriving on the, on the um, student's screen. Now, I can see if I've got notifications switched on or off or manually in that by having a look at the top here, there's this moon, so saying, do not disturb during these times. So as a teacher walking around or a parent walking around, if I have a look, just like we did for the airplane mode, I have a look at the top and I can see a moon there, um, then I can say that the student has done the right thing and has set it up so that they're not going to be disturbed between a certain hour range. Now, from a perspective, that would be something that I would do first thing in the morning or when they're meant to be doing... Um, their homework or something like that, I would come along and check that as part of being, you know, routine. Of course, it doesn't stop students from acting um, and sending messages from out of the, from the app directly. So if I still go to um, iMessage and send a message, it'll still go out and there'll be one come in, but I have to be actively in that app. So therefore, choosing to do the wrong thing, not allowing other people to communicate with me without my prompting. Um, I can also set um, different groups and notifications and favorites of some people that allow calls. So in other words, via FaceTime and that sort of stuff. Um, and those things are all optional. And um, it's, it's mainly to do with FaceTime um, um, notifications that those sorts of settings are for. So now if I have a look, um, I've got, I can mine set manually because on the left over here, I've set do not serve on and my moon's on. Um, if I go by time, then I could set that like... Um, that and between every day between that 8.25 and 3.15 I won't be notified or get a message up on my screen as an alert as being somebody trying to contact me or some app trying to contact me um, and it forms a very valuable part of teaching students how to manage their interruptions during the day um, without trying to block every single app from trying to do it. Um, if we did that as teachers, then we would spend more of, it, more of our time doing that than we would actually teaching. And parents, it's, um, it's simple enough to walk around and have a look at that setting and make sure that it's set up. And you can walk past it any time and have a look at the moon and see if it's there and make sure that it's switched on between the right times.